Millennials and the markets, the biggest generation on earth beginning to make their mark on investments. A new study reveals that a whopping 86% of millennials are interested in socially responsible investing. Joining us now, the author of Retire Inspired, Ramsey Solutions financial expert, Chris Hogan. Chris, good to see you. Good morning. So what types of investments fall into this category? Well, as you start to look at it, Maria, it's really every type. Uh, the bottom line is you start to pick and invest in stocks, mutual funds, uh, through your 401k or your 403b with companies whose values align with yours. Uh, millennials are really starting to take a look at this and they want to know what are the company's initiatives? What do they really stand for and what are they about? And they're using that as they assess whether they're going to choose to invest in that company or not. So I've had a question about this because I do a lot of research with millennials and they are so interested in the, the good things that companies do. But what are they looking at? What are the fundamentals that they're looking at to figure out what are the companies that are worth investing in it? Is it just what they, what they you know, feel is, are the companies that are doing right or is there resources that they're turning to? Well, I don't think they're necessarily digging into a prospectus or even yeah. the, the corporate guidelines. I think it's more about what's going on in social media, the things that are happening in the news, and the general overall feel about how this company is portrayed in the public. And I think this is a wake-up call for companies to be aware. How are they approaching education? How are they approaching environmental issues? How are they approaching social issues? Because millennials are taking notice of this and using it as a factor. But do, doesn't this raise a question of whether is this the right way to invest? Mm -hmm. I mean, if you want to take up social issues, go ahead and take up social issues. But isn't investing supposed to be about securing your financial future and finding companies or other investments that offer you the best returns for the lowest risk? Should you really be putting your social standards uh, on the line when you're putting your financial future on the line? Well, you raise a good question, and I, and I agree. I think what you don't want to do is to allow your investing to become overly emotional. This is a business decision. You want to make choices that obviously fit in with your values and your beliefs, but you have to be careful. You need to understand what it is you're investing in and how it's going to perform for you in the long term. And so while I think it's something to be aware of, I think they need to dig in, and they need to go a little bit deeper in the information than just based on what's happening in social media or online. You really have to understand what you're investing in and how is it going to perform for me in the long term. Yeah, what, what are some of the other stocks that are attracting millennials right now? Well, I think anything that they're familiar with, I think as you start to look at the companies, products and services that they use, uh, the, the, you know, I've read some articles that mentions Domino's and mentions Facebook and all of these areas. And I think it's typically a matter of popularity right now. Yeah. But also, Maria, with the things that they're using, the products they believe in, uh, the products that, that, that they are familiar with and that they've grown up with, is, are people are more apt to stick with those in the long term. But Chris, just one note of caution, and I'm figure you might agree with me on this that you there is that tendency to vet to invest in the hottest brand and it turns out to be a fad and then it blows up in your face you have to be very careful about that because a lot of these businesses are not businesses are not long lasting no, I agree, Dagan. You do want to be very, very aware. Like I said, investing is a business decision. Uh, you need to be careful of trends and fads because typically as people join in those, that's when they start on the downturn. So you want a long-term view. I tell people all the time, save for things three years or less. You want to invest in things five years or longer. So we have to be aware, get the right information, get the right people around you, and make choices that you believe in and you're going to stick with in the long run. All right. We will leave it there. Chris, always a pleasure. Good to see you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Chris Hogan.